Direct voltage boost converters or DC to DC boost converters have a number of peculiarities. Most of all, the output voltage in these converters is higher than the input voltage. Moreover, when the input voltage and the output current of the converter change, the output voltage remains stable. Because of this peculiarity, such converters are employed to supply stabilized voltage to battery-operated electronic equipment. Let's have a look and see how this device works. A battery of 1.5 volt is used to supply power to the converter. On switching on power supply on the R1 resistor, one witnesses a decrease in current. Then the current goes through the T1 transistor base and both T1 and T2 transistors are in the conducting state. At first the T2 transistor collector has zero voltage and the increase in current goes through the transistor collector and the throttle. The current is constantly growing until the T2 transistor reaches the saturation state. This will result in voltage increase on the T2 transistor collector. As a result, both T1 and T2 transistors will close. As the current on the throttle of the T2 transistor collector ceases to increase, the T2 transistor collector shows high voltage, which charges the C1 condenser through a short key diode. A VD2 Zen diode restrains the charge voltage on the condenser. As the magnetic field in the inductance coil stops, the voltage on the T2 transistor collector decreases to the supply voltage. Both transistors return to conduction state and the increase in current goes through the throttle again. The frequency of the process going on is about 10 Hz. 